Hi, hello, how's it going guys? So I did my eyebrows off camera because I don't think y'all need to see that. Um, but I am priming my face with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and I like to pat this in. I do have dry skin, so that is cool. Um, then I'm using the J1 Jelly Pack and I also like to pat this in. The other primer doesn't really make your makeup last long, so I really like using this one. It does have a sticky consistency, so the foundation sticks to your face, you feel. And then I'm using this foundation. It's just a cheap foundation and I'm not going anywhere, so I just like, I just use this one. Because I don't want to use my expensive foundation. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm taking a flat brush to pat in the concealer. I used to like using a sponge to blend it, but I really like the full cakey coverage that it gives. I'm going straight into Sugar Pills Love Plus Eyeshadow and I'm going to pat and pack this shadow in. I used to like using a base color or a translucent powder so it can help blend things out, but if you want that eyeshadow to pop, then go ahead and put that down. I don't know, recently I just like doing this, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead, uh, go back and disperse everything by just blending it out. I'm also taking that Love Plus on the bottom of my eyes and then I like to connect it to the top of my eye with like a circular blending. I'm taking this red color from the 3502 palette by Morphe and with that I'm just going to blend out Love Plus. Going back to a Love Plus, I'm going to go ahead and reapply that color. Taking that Dusty Rose color from the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, I'm going to blend out everything or at least try to blend everything because it looks like I didn't really do a good job. Um, but for eyeliner, I'm going to be using the NYX Vivid Liner in Sapphire. Then I'm taking the NYX Vivid Liner in Hollow and outline the blue eyeliner that I just did. With the NYX white eyeliner, I'm just going to do dots on my eye that kind of follow along my crease. For lashes, I'm using the Last Dreams in Genie. Alright, so the eyes are all done, so now I'm taking the Suave Beauty Hydra Liner in Space Panda, and I'm just going to do an outline first for that comic bubble, and I'm just going to paint it in. Alright, so going back to hollow, I'm going to go ahead and follow that outline of the white that I just did and I'm just going to paint that in. So all the beauty does have a yellow hydra, hydra liner as well, but I obviously don't own that so I can't use that. But honestly, I would prefer using that just because uh, the NYX liners, uh, some of them, especially this yellow one, does crack and you know... It's on your face, on your cheeks, and you use your cheek muscles or face muscles, so, you know, it's bound to crack. So, that's not really cute, but, you know, this liner would do for now. Using the Suave Beauty Hydra Eyeliner in Grease, I'm going to outline the yellow first. And I know right now it looks hella messy and ugly, well, that's because it is, but later when everything's done, I do go back and fill in the sparse part, but for now... I just like to map things out first to get the feel of it. Alright, on to the hard part. I'm going to go ahead and take a cherry bomb from the Suave Beauty Hydro Eyeliner and I'm going to do the lettering first because this is the easiest for me than just doing the outline for everything.
I'm doing the outline for the white comic bubble. Um, if I did this first, then the lettering, I feel like it would either bleed to each other because it's going on top or through the black because the high dry liners do dry nicely, but all of them are water activated. I haven't really tried this, but I don't want to risk it because this process like took forever. It took me so many times and I'm already irritated. Also, I didn't show this, but I am using the Suave Liners in 610 and 620. They're nice brushes for detailing, but for doing the outlines of the lettering, I felt like I needed something a lot skinnier. So I just took an old NYX liner brush that I used up and used that as my brush with grease. Alright, so once the tedious outlining and the tedious painting is done, this somewhat makeup look is done, um, I'm just gonna go ahead, slap on a Kat Von D bow and arrow lipstick, and I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day because it took me hours to film and took me several times to do this so yeah thank you guys for watching bye